Hey, what up guys? Um, here we go again with uh, our XV, little build, you know, 500cc build. So as I mentioned on the last episode, we are nearly there. There are very few things we uh, need to do in order to um, finish the dry build anyway, you know. Uh, obviously cosmetics is a completely different story, a project on its own. But there's a very few things um, uh, are away, um, keeping us away from starting the bike and taking it for the road for the first time in this shape. Uh, so today I'm going to crack on and I'll try to work on the mudguard, front mudguard or front fender, depends where you are. Um, I've got the original one here, I don't want to show you. So I've got the original mudguard, which I think it's a work of art as it is, it's probably the... the the, the prettiest thing that was on the original bike, I mean this mudguard on its own, I really think it's a, uh, it's really nicely done, Yamaha really uh, done a good job and I mean if you can see a beauty in the simple things like a mudguard but I really think it's a, it's very well executed and it's pretty good condition. Um, the problem is it doesn't suit the bike as it is at the moment, it's just too big and too large, it's just wrong, wrong lines, wrong kind of style to it and I really don't want to just, because I want to First of all, when it's shorter, I really don't want to just take an aggregate grinder and, and cut it off because it's a, such a nice piece. Uh, I may use it for something else later or maybe sell it, I, I don't know. So I'm going to put it on the side right now and forget about it. What I do have, however, is this thing, which is a rear mudguard. I say it from, a, I built a bike a few years ago. If you go to my channel history and probably last two or maybe even three years ago, I can't even remember. I've built a little coffee racer from a 250 two-stroke CZ. It's a Java CZ 1977. It was a little two-stroke smoker. Beautiful bike, great running bike. I wish I kept this bike, but you know, sometimes we have to uh, move on. Well, anyway, that was a real marker from it and it's still, and I was keeping it for like, what, two or three years uh, in for the purpose to use it for something else and there we go opportunity came over here so I will try to uh, repurpose this cut it maybe this much piece from it um, it's got the right angle it's bent one way and it's bent over so um, this way two two axis so I will try to um, incorporate that into this build and then create some kind of support so again creating fabricating uh, things like this not from scratch because it's really difficult to create something like this from scratch uh, without skills or special tools. Bending metal one way is easy, but then bending exactly on the, the other platform is, for me, it's very, very difficult thing to do, because I ain't got English wheels, I don't have sand dollies and hammers, and, and I don't have a skill <laughs> to do that, to do metal beating, panel beating and all that. I'm sure somebody who's got a skill to it, he can do it in five minutes, but I, I can't. So I'm gonna try to use this um, and see what happens. Right guys, have a beer and <laughs> let's do this shit, shall we? Oh yeah. cut to size and cleaned up uh, this is more or less the, uh, the rough shape uh, I want to go for and the size as you can see it's rather small um, but it looks pretty good on the um, on the front wheel just uh, just a classic uh, little thing um, don't know if I've ever ridden a bike in the rain without the front mudguard 
I have and uh, it's not fun. All the water had been picked up by the front wheel and the force you go in it just ends up in your face from all the water and dirt and, and shit from the road it, it's just not fun so I would like to have even small mudguard makes a big difference because it picks up all the water from underneath it doesn't stop any water going to the engine and shit right but it doesn't throw you back in your face um, which is pretty horrible experience <laughs> and yes it is a show bike kind of but I'll be riding that in all weathers you know if it's rain ah, fuck it I'm gonna ride it so I need it from the mudguard anyway um, I think I need to persuade it just a little bit so it bends slightly bit more curvature um, this way uh, see if I can do it in a non-invasive way if I can just walk it a couple of times with a hammer just to bend it slightly without uh, distorting it too much <laughs> let's see Right guys, that calls for a beer. What I've done over here, see me with a little hammer and a little vise. I stretch the metal ever so gently around the um, the edges, around the corners, uh, which created kind of a lip all the way around. And what that produced, not only gave it a rigidity, it really was flexy before because it was just a sheet of metal. Now it's kind of uh, give it a structure and strength, a lot of strength actually. Um, if you see from underneath, you got the lip all the way around. Um, and it looks better as well, because it looks like a more or less uh, a finished piece, you know. Uh, it's not just a sheet of metal that will sit on top of a tire, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it's got a thickness to it, which is good. Originally, I was uh, thinking I'm gonna weld a rod underneath and bend it all around for that rigidity and that stiffness by welding all that metal around it it will not only be well heavy that's not my concern but it will start warping and once the mudguard is warped one way or the other there are ways of preventing that but it's always a bit of a risk of messing that about so I'm happy that I actually went this way and I'm quite happy with the result now I need to think of a way of mounting that thing over the, uh, the tire over the forks so let me uh, scratch my head a little bit about it I'm gonna get another beer and we take it from there. 